can we live with just our selves hello guys welcome to yundel channel and today's share is about living with our selves many of us are worried to be alone yes it is a challenge to live alone and this is my share with you today because i live now for a while alone and you know it's not easy it's scary and we are going to work with ourselves to enjoy our own company being alone it's not easy it's lonely but you have to find ways to enjoy yourself even you are alone even it is scary you have to work with your mindset with that I am sharing this with you guys because it's really a struggle. The first months I live alone as my kids moving out from the house already. It is really a struggle. I'm scared. I don't like the silence. I don't like nobody else in the house. But those things we must learn to enjoy and be grateful that we have the time to be alone with ourselves. When we choose to live a life for ourselves, we are responsible of our actions and what we do to learn and grow. We must not blame others for our mistakes. We must learn to own them. We must learn to enjoy them your moment of being alone. We must not live just a life that makes us happy. We must live a life that makes us proud and happy. Learn to don't aim to please others. We must not worry about whom others view us. Yes, many of us are worried what the other people is thinking, how the other people look upon us. But it is very important that we must not worry about what have others view us. We must learn more about ourselves and appreciate more who we are. Remember, you are an amazing person. We must learn to forgive ourselves and be confident with who we are. We must stop being negative about ourselves and find a hobby that we love. Guys, this is really very important that we know how to enjoy our, our own company, finding a hobby that we love. So that we have something to look forward, a hobby. So we have to prepare our mind that today I am going to do this. I am going to fulfill this thing. A hobby is a healthy thing for all of us. So find a hobby that you will love doing. Living with just ourselves means to be true to our core identity rather than faking a different one because we often think it will be attractive to others. Don't think of others. Think of yourself when we live with just ourselves. Being alone is also a healthy thing. We must learn to recognize ourselves by starting visualizing our ideal self. We must explore our passions. We must try new things and evaluate our skills. We must identify what our value about ourselves and ask ourselves a question. There you are again. The book says we must learn to ask questions for ourselves to evaluate and identify our needs. Learning something new and keeping a journal is important. Living with just ourselves. Why? Because this is all about awareness where we are going in this life journey. By knowing and being ourselves, we are better able to acknowledge things 
that we do not know well enough about ourselves, living just with ourselves. There is a lot of things we learn from ourselves. We learn how to handle our patients. We learn how to handle our anger. We learn how to anger to handle our frustration. It is very important that we can work out with ourselves, emotions, and feelings when we just be alone with ourselves. It is not funny living alone because in our culture, especially in the Philippines, you know, we are always surrounded with a lot of people. But when we are living in some other places, in the country, which is the culture, our children is moving out by the time the are old enough to move out there you are we must learn to live with just ourselves and find out a life that makes us happy a life that you enjoy even you are alone this life is amazing but we are going to work with ourselves to make it amazing heaven it is very difficult it is again a mindset work living in a life with ourselves acceptance is a huge thing we can do in this life to be alone accept the situation embrace the moment of being alone it is a time for yourself as my friend told me the other day she said think the other side of the situation it is your time to enjoy yourself it is your time to be focused of yourself your wellness taking care of your body your schedule your hobby yes a hobby has a huge thing to do with our living alone with ourselves it is about enjoying your own company even you are alone yes guys our work must be done with ourselves with our mindset when we are going to live alone with ourselves it is in the culture here in the western western world that you know sooner or later your children will just move out from you we just borrowed our children for a couple of years we're taking care of them we are with them but the moment will come that you will be alone because they're going out of your house they have to be by their own so it is very important that we know how to enjoy our own company even it is very difficult and lonely yes i'm struggling for the first months even now but you know i find some things i must do i love doing the video i love talking with you every day it really helps me to move on to the next level of my life living alone with myself it is what it is we are born in this earth alone. Even you have a twins, still you have your own life to live. And that is very important that we must acknowledge the happiness of being alone. Even it can be challenging sometimes. How can we live with just being with ourselves, guys? For me, in my own case, yes, it is a work. It is a mindset work to accept the whole thing, even it is very difficult. But I'm happy that I find my hobby doing video, reading, scripting, and uploading videos here to share with you every day. It is really a mindset work to choose a happy life. Even we are living alone with ourselves. Yes, it is my me time now 
after my kids are grown up, it is time for me to work with myself, enjoy the moment of being alone. And I am very grateful of my whitey friends who can, I can call every time I needed them. So we must enjoy our own company even we are alone because sooner or later our kids will not live with us forever they're going to move out to the next level of their life journey as well so acceptance and enjoying the moment is a huge thing we can do in this moment of just living with ourselves Thank you so much guys for listening. I am forever grateful to each and every one of you and thank you for your support in my life journey. I love you all and bye-bye.